show this one. So it seems like most people have um, a wood stove in yes. their tent. Uh, your, your, your clothing here. Are you a voyager? I am a voyager. All right, right. Are you? Looks like you're very warm. Did you make these clothes, or did you? Uh, buy actually, them? my wife did the sewing. Oh wow. Yep. Uh, she did a nice job. Is this is this uh, uh, kind of authentic clothing? The, it is authentic word? clothing. The period. For the gloves and the hat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's all wool. Very nice. Keep you warm. Keep and your name dry. is? I'm Dan. Dan. Kenneth Camp. What? Kneffel Camp. And it's not from? a boy's yours name. Okay, where, and you're from? Scandia, Minnesota. Oh, okay. Is this your first uh, camping experience Definitely here? Definitely not. You've been here before? Yeah, this is my second year at this spot, but I've been winter camping for 10 years. What is the appeal? I was just asking the gentleman. No mosquitoes. It? No mosquitoes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You usually don't camp in with a large gathering like this. No, rendezvous are special. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're special. So what is the appeal of winter camping other than mosquitoes? There's something more to it. I mean, well, there's the quietness of it. There's no crowds. Uh, lake travel is very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need a boat. Mm -hmm. um, the stars are definitely brighter in the winter. Uh, Wildlife is easier to spot because there's no leaves on the trees, mm -hmm. and they seem to be moving a lot because they're trying to always find food to stay warm. You know, most obvious question obviously is dealing with the cold. Isn't doesn't that ever become an issue? Um, it, it does. Um, you don't want to go out unprepared. And of course, when I started out, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. But you learn along the way. Mm -hmm. um, but I have camped out at 29 below, and it's chilly, but you uh, adapt and you survive. Is that part of the appeal, just sort of like uh, testing your survival survival skills? And well, a little bit uh, yeah, harsher environment. I hate to admit it, but it is. Yeah, and yeah, it seems to me like every time I go out, I just make a meal outside. It just seems like one step removed from a little bit of civilization. Uh, that's sort of part of the appeal. You know, <laughs> This is many steps from that. <laughs> But, uh, okay. So how many years have you been winter camping? Ten years. Oh, ten years? Yep. Okay. Actually, I went once when I was probably about 14 years old. Didn't have a clue what I was doing or froze to death, and I swear I'd never do it again. But mm -hmm. here I am. I learned a little bit along the way. Uh, what's your impression of uh, Sawmill Park, this particular area? It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the, the lay of the land is nice. Rolling hills and the small lakes, the trees, it's excellent. Okay. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Your winter symposium. It's at YMCA Camp Miller, which is Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Yeah, um, right by Hinkley, just north of Hinkley, not far. And um, it's been going on for 12, 12 years. This will be the thirteenth year. And um, gentlemen that would run it prior, it was like Dwayne Lodig and Kevin Kinney. The tent maker, like, oh, okay. they started it out just to get people together. I think <laughs> learning about gear and that, All right, and it's right evolved. Here. And now we took over the planning and organizing, and I'm the camp director, so it just fits really well. But we do workshops and seminars, anything you need to know about hot camping. And some people, I think, were in, in cold camps there and hammocks. So. Um, but well, this year, Morris Kahansky, who's a Canadian bushman, he's pretty famous yeah, I mean, if you're into the bushcraft stuff. Uh, no he's coming the weekend prior, it's the last weekend in October, and he's coming the weekend prior to do an immersion. And I think only 25 or 20 people can sign up for it, but that'll go the weekend before. And then we're going to start workshops on Thursday now instead of... Friday, so if people want to find out more information about this... Uh, www.wintercampingsymposiumoneword.com And your name again is? Bridget Maraska. And you're from? Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Sturgeon Lake. Where's Sturgeon Lake? You know, have you heard of Moose Lake? Yeah. It's the next exit.